Hey guys, it's Corey here. Today I've got another killer Town Hall 11 war base for you. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly where you can find the base link to copy this base. But before I do that, I have to tell you something really important. The WHF family slash Tribe Gaming family is recruiting Town Hall 11s right now. So if you have a maxed account, max heroes, max defenses, and you got some skills, you're ready for the next step, the link to join WHF family is in the description of this video. It's our Discord server. Just read the directions. They're really easy. And uh, guys, I hope to see you soon inside the WHF slash Tribe Gaming family. Also in this video, we're going to be checking out failed attacks on this base. We faced LP4 Hades. There are some excellent, excellent attackers. Here we got Surge coming in on this one. Uh, he's actually also a player for WHF. At, uh, I believe LP4 Hades is his home clan, and so he was warned with them for this league war. He's got a Queen Charge Lava Loon. Going to attempt to get a wall break right there. But we got an Expo that's not tanked, Cannon that's not tanked. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Oh, doesn't quite get the wall break. He's only got one more wall breaker. Can he get it raged in time? Oh, the wall breaker goes down. He's going to miss that wall break. There's just too many defenses there that were not tanked. He's got a backup plan, though. Uses the jump and freezes that air defense since that air defense is in range of his healers already. Oh, not off to a great start for poor Surge on this one. Those healers are still in range of that air defense while the queen is stuck on the hound. Those air uh, the healers are going down really fast to that air defense. He sends in a stone slammer to kind of go ahead and tank it. Uh, definitely starting the Lalo earlier than what he had planned on doing just because that air defense was sitting there taking out his healers. So Queen has not gotten the kind of value that you generally want to get before you start a Lava Loon portion of an attack. Um, but, you know, good, good base design right there. It's all that comes down to. Very difficult to get a wall break right there. And the pathing that took the Queen away from that air defense even when she had a jump so the air defense took out the healers and of course that's the side that you're going to want to queen charge on and most are queen charge attacks since the enemy queen is right there and uh here we go this one's almost done he's just got minions getting up the last little bit of percentage so we're going to go to times four because nobody wants to watch that but i do have two other failed attacks on this base all with different attack strategies Next attacker coming in is going to use a boho attack strategy. Uh, looks like he's trying to avoid dealing with the hound in that CC. He's got 35 hog riders and five heal spells to try and get this base taken out. He's going to be coming in with a really small kill squad right here going after the queen and king. Uh, trying to get both those royals knocked out. That way the hogs can just overwhelm the rest of the base with the five heals. In theory, not a bad plan at all, but... Unfortunately for the attacker, this one is going to fall well, well, well short of the three star. Got an ice golem down tanking there for a wall break. Test wall breaker did expose a small bomb that otherwise would have killed all the wall breakers. So it's looking really good for the enemy uh, ghost who's attacking right now. Now he's got a rage coming in for those bowlers and the king. Uh, those raged up bowlers, you want them to get nice bounce value. Take out extra defenses while taking out both those heroes as well. Both the enemy heroes are down at this point. Um, and somewhat of a funnel has been created for the bowlers. They've got a, a fairly wide chunk of base left, but it is in an L shape, so it should be able to keep their pathing together a little more. He's surgically deploying hogs on those outside defenses out there, trying to narrow the path for the main group of hogs. That stone slammer on the left-hand side was way, way, way too soon. Um, those hogs are separated from the pack, uh, died a lot sooner than the other hogs got there, so they, they weren't able to reinforce the pack like they otherwise would have if they'd been used at the proper time and reinforce that main pack here we go coming into that last heal these hogs are taking a ton of damage they're stuck on those expos which have really high hit points and uh yeah there's just not enough hogs to get this done i mean other than grabbing both the heroes and killing what he could of the enemy cc you see he ignored the hound on this one good strategy um but just not enough the entire base where the defenses was left over including the eagle artillery hogs could not power their way through the base. Last attempt I'm going to be showing you is another one that's trying to take advantage of that hound in the CC. 
by never popping it at all. He's going to sui his queen on the left-hand side, try to take out that whole Tesla farm, and uh, going to be bringing in a wall wrecker, using a king to funnel the other side of that outside trash buildings. That way the miners can just go through the core. He's got six heal spells on this attack. You do not see six heal spells very often, but with a hound in the CC, a lot of times miners and a ton of heals are enough to take a base out. Unfortunately for the attacker, that is not the case on this base. Miners are running into some giant bombs early and a ton of damage on that side of the base. They have spread out a little bit, but that is... That's to be expected. It was a really wide part of the base to start miners on, even with that many. Um, so they're going to be spread out. you got to use those heal spells liberally and early to keep those miners alive, guys. If you want access to more of the killer war bases in Clash of Clans, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, because I will keep them coming. Uh, look at this, man. Those miners are just going down. Oh my gosh, they zoomed past the defenses to go deal with the enemy heroes. And so they're kind of stuck in there in the middle, but that is his last heal spell. There's just not enough miners left to take on the rest of the defenses in the back side of this base. Just seems like whatever gets thrown at this base, there's a ton of damage waiting for those troops and it just does not end up being enough. We're gonna fall well short on this one as well. Gonna end up with a 74% on this attempt. So. Guys, after this, I'm going to show you guys the scout view of the base. That way, you can take a screenshot if needed. Here's the scout view of the base for you guys, just in case base links aren't working for you. You want to copy it the old-fashioned way. You can take a screenshot on one device, open up Clash on the other, and copy it from there. Of course, right now, I'm going to tell you guys exactly where to find the base link. Base link is going to be at the very bottom of the description of this video, so you probably got to click something to expand the description out. You scroll all the way to the bottom past everything. The last thing in there is going to be the link to copy this base immediately. Check out this base, though, guys. Look at some of the design features in this one. The Eagle Artillery, I love Love that placement right there because even if you get in the first layer queen still cannot reach it even if you get two layers deep in here queen cannot reach it from this side queen cannot reach it from this side so you really have to get all the way into that core before you can get that eagle artillery down when you're at town hall 11 eagle artillery is your most valuable defense it's the the, the highest value defense that there is at Town Hall 11, even more valuable than the multi-target Inferno. So guys, on your screen at this point, there should be a link to my War Bases playlist. In there, you're going to find tons of videos just like this one with the best of the best bases picked out by me with replays, proof, all that good stuff, links to copy them. So check out that playlist if you're going to want to find even more excellent War Bases for you and for your clan. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next video.